Hi there everyone. So this video is going to show how to do the revolve exercise or to create a revolved object in AutoCAD using the revolve command. So if we flip over to AutoCAD here and start a new drawing, what I am going to do is I'm going to create this candlestick here. I'm going to close this because otherwise it won't load right. I've given you the dimensions for this. So we can just create the section part of it. We don't even have to put the section lines in, none of that stuff, because then we are going to revolve that around the central axis. So let me see what I can do here. I may have to flip back and forth some. Um, in fact, I'm just going to go ahead and do this real quick. You don't have to watch me make the profile. I'll just show you when I'm done. So bear with me here for a moment. Uh, I'm going to pause the video and then come back. All right, so I've got this made. I'm actually just stealing, whoops, that's from earlier. <laughs> I'm just stealing from uh, the actual drawing you see there in front of you. So you can make this, you all are competent uh, AutoCAD users. So we have this, this half shape here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type revolve, right? And it says, select the objects to revolve. I am going to just drag a crossing window to make sure I get all of the pieces of that little profile there and I am going to now hit enter. So the first step is to select your parts and then I'm gonna hit enter. Now it says specify the access point or define access by XYZ. So this is kind of like the mirror command. I'm just gonna draw a line to define that access. And now we can see we are starting to revolve this. Now I'm gonna hold shift and the middle mouse button again um, to tilt this, pivot this around so that I can see it. Hey, I don't like this. There we go. Okay, that's enough. So now it's letting you pick an angle to revolve this. And you might get frustrated and say, hey, I can't get this to do 360 degrees. That's all I want. It keeps flipping all around. Well, just type it, silly. So I'm going to do 360 degrees, enter. And that is going to revolve this object all the way around. You notice it's purple because when I was creating that, I was in the dimension layer. So you can actually pick these objects and you can move them to the object layer. And the other thing that's going on is this has actually created surfaces because I screwed something critical up. I didn't close my shape. So I'm gonna actually undo this. Remember I've talked about joining in the past. I'm gonna draw a line that connects these two parts. I'm gonna make sure that line is in the object layer. I gotta get in the object layer. And now I'm going to actually pick all these and I'm gonna deselect that center line. I'm gonna join these. And now when I do revolve, I actually don't even think I need the center line anymore. Revolve, all right, I'm going to pick that object, enter, and I'm going to draw that line from here to here. And now it is revolving that object. Man, I can never get this to look quite right. There we go. Around this, I'm going to type 360 again. There we go. And now you notice when I hover over it, it's all completely lit up. So uh, this, let's put this on conceptual so we can really see this. So that is our candlestick. So one more time, you want to make sure before you do the revolve command that you have all those lines joined, which they are not right now. So one more time to do that, I can delete my center line. I'm just going to pick all the lines together, I'm gonna to join them. And it seems that it actually moved that to the layer, uh, to the object layer. And then I'll do revolve, REV. I'm going to pick the object, enter. And then I'm going to draw a line down the middle and type 360 degrees. The reality is you don't have to type 360 degrees if you don't want to. We could do like a half revolution or something like that. Let's put this in the object layer again. So I could pick this, I could do revolve, I could pick the axis and maybe I want to just do 90 degrees. Okay. That would create like a wedge of my candlestick. Let me turn on conceptual again. And so that just created like a wedge. So you have a lot of freedom with the revolve tool. So hope this helps.